Hey everybody, Jeff from Corrugated Cavalier here coming to you on this beautiful cloudy day. Today we are going to be talking about the Seven Swords in the Fiore Manual. So this is a concept that is um, similar to a lot of different sword systems and martial arts in general. It's just talking about paths of attack or directions of attack. Um, sometimes you'll hear in other martial arts like the eight paths or six cuts or whatever it is. But um, basically, these are just the directions that cuts can come from or attacks can come from. So um, in the Fiore Manual, he talks about seven swords. What are the seven swords? So we've got the downwards cuts. We've got the upwards cuts coming at the same angle, right? Just from below. We've got sideways cuts. And in the Fiore Manual, he does mention that the sideways cut from the left always... Uh, is a false edge cut. And if you're not familiar with what that means, the false edge is the one closer to you, or the, the one that's generally facing you or facing your wrist. So the sideways cut is always coming this way. You can certainly do this. But in the Fiore Manual, he talks about it coming, being a false edge cut. So that's six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So what's the seventh one? The seventh one is a thrust. Um, and this can come from longa, or a long point if you do German longsword. Um, could also, this could also be breve, which is, base, is similar guard. Could also be um, what's called middle iron gate in Fiore. Um, but it, he also, those, are, those would all be coming from the center. He also, so he mentions five different thrusts. Two coming from high guards, two coming from low guards, and one from a center guard. Um, he doesn't mention which high guards and which low guards, but for right now, I'm going to uh, assume Posta di Donna is one of the high guards. So that would be thrusting there. Donna Sinestra, so that would be thrusting there. Then um, Iron Gate, so that would be thrusting there. And Dente di de, Dente de Zangiato. I'm going to demonstrate um, on my brand new Pell. Um, this is uh, certainly not super official, but I was lucky enough that this pole was here when I moved into this place. And uh, I assume there used to be a birdhouse on top or something, but it's not there anymore. I'm not going to disturb any birds. Um, and I just had found some rope also laying around the house. And I'm planning on putting another piece down there so I can get some upwards cuts and uh, cover to like my waist level as well. So I've got my um, L2 wooden waster from Purple Art Armory here, and uh, let's let's try these out in action with uh, some footwork as well. Here we go. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start in Posta di Dona. I'm going to take a step forward, and I'm going to go to Dona Sinestra. Take another step. Then I'm going. Then I'm in Iron Gate. Take another step. Then I'm in Dente di Zangiato. And um, it's actually kind of easiest to do a false edge here. I'm going to go with true edge for now, though. Then I'm going to go back to Posta di Donna. And I'm going to do my middle cut. And then I'm going to go to Dona Sinestra again and do my false edge cut. And I'm going to take a step back <laughs> just so I have some room in Longa. Thrust, thrust from Posta di Dona, thrust from Dona Sinestra, thrust from Iron Gate, thrust from Dente di Zangiato, or oh, Force 2. Let's see how that goes a little faster. Missed on that last thrust a little bit. 
Um, so that is the, those are the seven swords of Fiore. I hope you enjoyed uh, learning about that. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I did um, the five different thrusts, one coming from the center and then two high guards, two low guards. Um, I'm going to do a video soon on the 100 cut challenge. That's something that I want to get involved in, which is uh, 100 cuts, 100 attacks uh, each day. So if I take that sequence of uh, six different cuts and then I guess five different thrusts, that's that's 11 attacks. So if I do that 10 times, that'll be 110. So just going to overachieve a little bit. Um, so look out for that coming soon. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Click like and subscribe. Share this with anybody that you think might find it interesting. And um, be good to each other. Thank you, everybody.